In the last video, we landed on one of the most beautiful islands of the Louisiades, ready for the crossing towards Australia. If you missed it, well, it probably means you're not subscribed yet. What are you doing? So make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time we post a video. We are currently in a lagoon east of Papua New Guinea and we want to go back to Australia. In order to clear customs, we can either enter the country in Cairns, Townsville or Mackay. The further south the better for the cyclone season. Unfortunately, with the wind coming from south southeast, we know that Mackay is going to be impossible and Townsville is going to be rather difficult, but it's still an option. So this is the big day. We are finally going back to Australia. Yeah! I'm quite happy about this because <laughs> Okay, someone is disrupting my video. <laughs> Alright, so I was saying this is the big day. We're finally going back to Australia, which is a very good thing because we kind of need the comforts of a country like Australia right now. We've been in the island for a couple of months and it will be good to finally go back to a country where there are supermarkets, straw power, <laughs> that sort of things. The condition should be good. There's not too much wind and there shouldn't be too much swell either. So in a way it's good because it means it's going to be slightly more comfortable. But in another way, I'm not sure how fast we can go with light wind. So we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see how much time it takes to get back to Australia. And, like last time, no haircuts for the passage. So we've just set up the autopilot to go to Trinity opening, which is just before Cairns. Um, it's going to take us 476 miles, which is quite a lot. The problem right now is the wind. So wind direction is east and uh, the speed is very low. It's about 10 knots, so it's actually very difficult to sail. So we decided to point a little bit more south, see how it goes we're gaining a bit of speed doing that and then if we have to continue going south then maybe we'll change the plan and instead of going into Cairns we'll go into Townsville all right so we are four hours in the passage and the conditions are optimal so far because um, we've got 16 knots of wind on our beam so perfect we're doing seven to seven and a half knots and the swell is like from one to one meters and a half better than the first one The wind was supposed to be southerly, but the predictions were wrong. It's actually easily. So, um, because the wind is coming from east, we can manage to get down to Townsville and not uh, Cairns. This is night one of the second leg of the passage. Today was very smooth sailing, not a lot of wind, but enough to have a good speed. Then as soon as the sun went down, the wind started to pick up, obviously. So now there's a lot of wind. We tried to reduce the amount of sail we had to the minimum, but we're still going way too fast. Um, so it's a little bit, not scary, but stressful. Of course, today was beautiful and tonight was challenging. But I guess, um, that's kind of normal, right? Murphy's and every sailing boat, I heard. But let's make the best out of it and then make good progress. Ah, 
Yes, back to you. So we left from Noro in the Solomon Islands and our next port of entry is um, at Townsville in Australia. Our port of registration is uh, Southampton, United Kingdom. Uh, so how many persons are on board, over? We are four persons on board. Yes, and you have a uh, ETA uh, to cancel, over? Um, it should be in three days if the winds are staying like this. Yes, that's about three days. Do you have any animals or planes on board, over? No animals and no planes on board. Roger that, uh, take it easy. I just stand by this uh, station, please. Roger that. End of night one. What a night. Supposed to be calm and nice. It was all messy. The swell has picked up and the wind has shifted a little bit. So we couldn't go to Townsville anymore. So we changed our plans and back to Cairns. The angle is a bit better because the waves are coming a little bit from the back, but they are big. That's the new plan, Cairns. This is night two of the passage and as always, as soon as the sun goes down it seems that it's time for Murphy to wake up and everything goes to shit. So yeah, right now the conditions of the sea are a bit rough. Um, it's not too bad, it's manageable but it's very noisy and it means that we can't really sleep so that's a bit annoying. Uh, also, we have a big white sea and for some reason, when it's night, it seems that all of the cargo ships in the sea are coming our way and not just like passing us by, no, 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 they're directly coming at us. It's really annoying, man. But yeah, anyways, we are on our way to Cairns. Just FYI, we decided to change the destination from Townsville to Cairns uh, for two reasons. The first one is the people that we're traveling with, so Lola. Uh, they had a hard time uh, pointing directly to Townsville. Um, they weren't gaining any speed, so it was a bit annoying for them. And for us, it meant that we had a beam reach with the waves and it was very uncomfortable. So we all decided let's not push it and let's go to Cairns instead. It's the end of night two. And um, that night was the opposite of the one before. It was smooth. <laughs> the conditions were perfect and that makes a head of a difference to be able to sleep. So um, we made good progress and uh, only 190 miles to go. Almost there. This is Take It Easy, over. G'day sir, thanks for your time. Can I please confirm your vessel's port of registry in Southampton, over? Yeah, port of registration is Southampton, United Kingdom. Thanks sir, and your last port of call and next port of call, over. Last port of call was Noro in the Solomon Islands, and next port is Cairns. Roger sir, do you have an estimated time of arrival for Cairns? 
probably be in 24 hours. Thank you, sir. How many persons on board? Four persons. And any plants or animals? Nope. Roger. This is an Australian 4-4 four four aircraft. Before landing on the Australian mainland or island, Australian law requires you to complete customs, quarantine and immigration formalities at an approved first port of entry. Physical contact with any vessel or landing prior to receiving this clearance is unlawful. Do you understand this requirement? I do understand this requirement. Thank you, sir. That's all we require. Welcome to Australia. Safe sailing again. Thank you. So we're getting ready for the night, so we're going to put a wreath in just because we know that the wind is going to get crazy during the night as always. Today was okay, it was a bit boring as every day on a passage. We got the visit of the Coast Guard again, not sure why, maybe because they saw that we changed our angle to go to Cairns, but yeah, we had to give the exact same information, only this time it was by day. And hopefully this is the last night, we should be arriving at around midday tomorrow so that's good so that we can get the entire afternoon uh, in the marina and we can get clearance tomorrow so that we can go to the restaurant yay morning beginning of day four last night the wind has shifted from behind so um, we managed to put the spinnaker up but after an hour the wind stopped completely so now we are motoring and the spinnaker is hanging. The issue is that we've got 17 nautical miles to go. Um, we're supposed to arrive today, but there's no way with our engine that we're gonna make it. So, probably gonna anchor to the reef outside of Cairns. Let's hope there's gonna be a breeze coming up so we can uh, stop those engines and then use the wind. But man, this, this is a never ending journey not arriving today. Even if the wind picked up a tiny bit in the afternoon, it was already too late to make it to Cairns. So we anchored in Setfall Reef and we spent the night there. Believe me, after four days at sea, it is really annoying not yet to see the end of the journey. Land, we can see land. Happy? Very happy. We can finally see some land. But we're not gonna go there yet, it's too late. So we're gonna anchor to the next reef. And tomorrow morning, marina. So we can check in. And here we go. Country is ours. We've made it to the reef. 